sky high. Player standing towards the back as a crossfire set, but he had the shot. Is elite. Cowers in. Cards. Leicester stick. This one comes down to the spam, but John is stunned. A tap. He's going to be out wide. He's going to be forced wide. Knows it. Info. Gathered now. But another stick now. Less finally to trust. Maintained in his teammate. The Maintained in him. Might be Did punished. A tap. Out for the jiggle, John QT, balls of steel! Oh, cinema! Ay, ay, ay. This is cinema. Oh, oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. That's, That's kind of like. Fun. Wow. Aaron Zim was forced to reload in the middle of that. That's that Ramadan, bro. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Sensitive. No contact, no Louder re exploring down mid as well. John Cutie and Sewers. Massive proactivity being caught here by Sadag, but well, John QT left to do so much more there. Just the one before the trade comes through, but the B site now opened up. By now being held, but he's got three targets to deal with. Luckily, Zell. Okay, Zekin right there. Von Rebold. Will he be able to get the damage? Of course he will. <laughs> Followed up in the end with the snake by post mortem. John QT going down on A means that this side of the map no longer has any offensive threat. Oh, Zekin, the reaction's there. Fault line stunned up. Well, there it is. The classic damage coming through. Flash in the end as well, so Tenza shortly behind him, but a flash repeat. Kawazin can't get too much more done. It's happening on the other side of the map. But if you want to talk about info, get thrown out wide here for that ramp control early. Now setting their sights out into the A. Sai Sadak! Anchor in position. Tucked nice and tight and safe and really just buying time for the rest of his team. Where are the reinforcements? It was a molly into the smoke and well, damage has been done. Vulnerable dub. Oh, and the pink goes down too. Now Sassy is pretty far away, but I think up to the corner. Sassy removed. Taken out now, just two will stand, and it could be just a bit of random spray, a bit of random spam that saves the day for themselves. This traded pip going down. Tens, 1v1. Doesn't really have to come for it as a bulldog, but will it be all bark or all bite? Tends to be the latter when Tens is wheeled in it. To use the Trailblazer early, Nade. Follows through with a snake bite exchanging, the handshake dropping down. Sadak was alone there. There wasn't really much to do with in terms of the follow up. They have to face it wide though with the aftershock done to these loud players. The positioning's known and noted, and so three survive into it. Slowing it down, but really time is going to be 15. their worst enemy. It's a team flash. John QT there, close to the corner, cut the wide. Satch just threw and over the top. Kawazin still anchoring. Tucked tight to the corner, Sassy planting the balls on the man to go for that one out wide for a heaven plan. This is backed away, playing a really passive position. Ten spots it, backs away, not favored for that fight. Less is holding to it. it, Less is holding for it and watching for it. Forwards now, tucked. And there it is, kill, claimed, QCK, fault line. Definitely there, actually, labored enough, but still. Paranoia, the smoke drops down, cuts up the side, and with that lurk into mid, actually to take some fights here, but has to stick the plan now towards default, but his team do have his back and more. Look at that! Coordination on display. Sadak creeping and crawling, he managed to weave his way. Budging Kawazin looks to be the contact for Paranoia play that's being held around the back now. The name flying forwards, close quarters, still doesn't win it out with the Stinger, and the backside players are brutalized, eviscerated. Sadak goes for the flash repeat. Zelsis, safety in numbers. Five what a play. swing and great dodging movement by John as well. Got the rifle to do it still. There's going to be no gaps there, not with Sentinels, they know. Utilised hopefully now to clear through into the bit. They've got the timing. Look at the flank from Sassy. And yet he's caused all the distraction in the world. Gets out with his life close to the corner. Cut him up. Still, John QT. Not leading it with the team, but it's already wrapped around. So they've got to expect the Sassy's there. No, it's a half clearance. Not enough, two years TP adjustment. He's on that high ground position, just propped up. But Lesnar needs to get more done and he can't do it. Kinsa, two years, no chance in hell. Gonna be fast onto the approach. Chance here, Zekin tries to adjust the spray, expecting players to swing from that left side. Tens. Feel like it's ramp and they're already pressuring the screens. There's still oh a trip here for John. Rifle, but no longer. Drop to the floor, drop to the deck. Less. Quite able to do it. <laughs> Yeah, and it's not really Tens that makes the round winning play, but I think it was that Cypher trip coming from John. He popped it over towards screens behind Zekin. Just got wide swung and minced. And now, no value to be found there. Out wide once more. Still QCK is on a swivel. Molly's vulnerable to him up. Kawazin drops down from the ropes here, spraying down. But two, he's, he's disjointed on the rest of his team. Kawazin out wide. The reset. Oh, oh and rolling Thunder. Lifts him up in the air. Sky high. And then one player standing towards the back as a crossfire setup. But the aftershock is elite. Kawazin on 
for so much more. An ace on the cards. Leicester stick. This one comes down to the spam, but John is stunned. A tap. He's going to be out wide. He's going to be forced wide. Knows it. Info gathered now, but another stick now. Less finally to trust. Maintained in his teammate. Maintained in him. Might be punished. A tap. Out. Force with a jiggle. John QT. Balls of steel. What a clutch. Cowan Seam was forced to reload in the middle of that. And John took the timing as Cowan reloaded. Les was still on the spike. Unbelievable timing from John. And Cowan had done so much. More than anyone could have been asked to do. But the timing on that of when to take the fight in the 1v2 was utterly superb. It's perfection. Hello, I'm John Curia, and I'm the IGO for Sentinels. We definitely did a lot of mistakes, and we looked rough. We've had two rough days, but we made sure to rally the team. Everyone stay focused on the goal. I watched all of their VODs. I even came here and just spent all my time watching uh, Split and Lotus. I've noticed their patterns and what they like to do, what's their tendencies. It wasn't that hard to like, kind of like guess what they were doing. I like to tell my teams that the devil is in the details. The small things that adds up and create that big thing that will make the difference. Obviously, the teams has been through very like lows, lows after the 2021 Reykjavik, so it hasn't been all rainbow and sunshine. But the fans still stuck with the team. Since I joined, I mean, I'm lucky to say uh, we've only had high highs. We've won all of our offseason and VCT so far. I mean, everything is going great right now, but we're still process oriented and like goal oriented. Even if we lose, we still make sure that to keep it like consistent and not really like worry about the comments. I just still got some people really, really far away That's from the action. Fight. Real fast refight. The stun. There's no connection there. So Les is able to just skip and hop away. But John QT is just this watchful eye onto it. There's a gap into the smoke. And against it, slowly creeping forwards, making sure to regain some of that map control. No kill found onto Kawazin. Less a chance, really, for him to bite back and fight back. Here it is. Return of the fire. Tends from the wrap around. Two years running all the way through. He knows the times against him. So pissed around. That's pure send domination. Reface, Elsis, that is incredibly brave. Well, it's too easy unless too easy gets the jump on him. No way, just the ghost to him work! That's bonkers. Cam back online, it's gonna be spotting the crossover. 30 seconds left. There it is. Camera taken out. Spawn, but now time running against them. Loud, get a move on, cages. Propped up, pushed up. Behind it, John QT can't follow through after that trip. There's a smoke in his face. It does make it quite dangerous, quite difficult. Still, it's a bit of run and gun in action. Only a few seconds remaining. Pull out the sidearm. Why not? And it gets the job done. We won't talk about it. We'll mention it a few times. Look at the timing there. Just beautiful. Great read that Les was going to go for an aggro lurk. Trip in their face. There's no, no protocols at all to really deal with that one. Should have known it was there, surely, if they were walking all the way up. TP forwards, it is just being toppled and crumbled. All the opportunities in this round here for Loud. QCK with a nade. Position, though, it sends the close out. And Sadak, it's inevitable, yeah, the double face in the air. That is one of the most one-sided maps we've seen. Two of our top teams here in playoffs. Sadak, flash through, who's playing anti? Where's the follow-up? There is wild. none. Playing together now, but they've got four players to deal with. Make it three. Can't let this one slip now, Loud. Shot dart. It's good for the damage. Tent's gonna be forced out wide. Tent! Tent! You can't be getting away with this, son. Surely not need. Doesn't even matter. Who are they picking? Who are they picking? <laughs> <laughs> Tent's lucky to be alive, facing top rafter Sadak. Attainment not quite online here. Now a bit of pace injected back into the things here. Loud. Using that util. All available for them, but it's a crossfire setup of Sentinels, and they punish that swing and wide face out. Great with the movement and patience with the aim. With accounted for, now you're going to see it. The reckoning pressing forwards with the advantage that they've got. Loud, not giving up any space. They want to take it right back away from them. And already you can see it at deep position. This time, the Thrash taking that first contact. Celsius winning that. Find the adjustment and stack to the side. And retaking now with this operator just becomes a dire, dire situation. And Celsius is running a mockery over them. Taking liberties when he's on low HP. Because why not? He can do it. Not planted. Poor Sassy. Tapping. Sadak over and around. Spotted. One. Sassy dropped. Sadak now for time, surely. Working against in the jump spot. The jiggle. John QT trying to gamble and dice with Dev himself here all the way through. That is immaculately played. John with another clutch. 
So similar to his situation on split where we saw him play against Kao and Zine. Beautifully done there. But I, I think Sen might have been in trouble again. That's this one up. Mosh bit into the back now. This time Sen fighting to a nail. But you're up against Kawas in John QT. Where's he pulled that one from? Oh, oh nowhere! Another oh, one on the ropes. The pit has been earned. ATA health to his name. He just needs to survive. The spray down and he's already hunting them down. Less. With him toppling, Ace on the cars. The crowd wants it. The people are chanting. QCK spotted out wide. Will his team give him anything? Not quite, still. Gained. And Sen will be happy with that. That's a salvage situation. When his heart was looking so damn poor. In round 12, the player to salvage it is John. What a beautiful spray transfer there. And then getting the third on the rope too. All coming off the back of winning the 1v1 clutch. Kind of blocked by the wall though. Yeah, I mean, there's no going to be any swings coming out for here. Sassy needs to get one, but yeah, like I said, no trade in sight. Briar is gone. Loud. We're going to have to clear this one. Bodies might do it. Surely, Ghost moment. Ghost moment. Not getting away with too much more still. So, flash, repeat timing. Needs it now. Needs help right now, and he's got it. The follow through from the rest of them. Those reinforcements. Jump, spot, and peak. Less. He's taking them all out. Seven seconds remaining. Molly has to stick it through here for Sadak with that plan. He's so the only way he goes down to it. And it leaves it just up to Less. One versus one. Viper versus Viper. They should know that Les is this week. Thankfully, he's got a bit of time on his side. Contacting, spots it. That's now going to be dropping. Orb propped up. How does John choose to play it? Here's those shots. Spots it out on the right click business. Done and dusted. Wipe your hands of that one. Ends. Sen really abusing the slower pace of Loud there. Because they took so long dealing with Zekken. And I mean, this util also perfection. That allowed Zelsis to tuck into yellow. Nice! I like it. Sees the jump. Spots just baited out for the shot wide. And QCK on shot from the other oh, They're not watching for it. Over the top there, that's the ghost gameplay occurring right now. Out wide tent. It looks like a safe, to be honest, but they're still going to try and fight over it. Wow. There are still opportunities in danger here. You slip them up. Tens Less is making an enormous wraparound, unless it's gone into left. Snowman. The this is such a bizarre round. And John QT's backs to the wall, all about the timing. No way! As Less who finds it. Does he even acknowledge it? The reload is heard here. Close. Quarters again. Cuts it up into the angle. One versus one, but it really should never have been here. In the first place, Knife tags it. That was a rough positioning as the wall fades. Time and not have Glock pressure because of John being able to deny the plant. And the spike went walkabouts into Snowman. Could not have gone better the timing in that round for Tens. Crazy round. One suppressed. Clear. Just with the dizzy, there's really nothing else behind it. No flash re-clear. Just the one bit of U-tail, it was broken almost immediately with the slow down approach, John. Nade lineup so that they can still fight with the nade. Hello, pop flash play, Tens. He's still alive here, got his one, but two years also returned with the fire now. Feeling the heat, feeling the emphasis that he needs to make a play here. That's why he's going wide. Dodge. Side there, away from the shutdown. Mosh pit, dissuading it, pushing back this one, but he doesn't expect the player above him. And around the back. Oh! What an adjustment! Flicks to the side, luckily two years. Still there, now the reckoning. Drop down with only 12 seconds left. There's no plan on line of stun. Here, up and away. Updraft all round. Really account for a well for what? It's messy. It's real damn messy. Luckily, second is still here and collects. Position has been one of the first times, yet Sadak says, not quite. He does something to say about it. Second back into the fight. Hello. It's not quite seeing that one over the top below him. Does not anticipate it, but guess what? His teammates did. This is aggressive. Yeah, time to show some disrespect, and he does get the value from it. Over the reswing now across. He saws him over the rope, but he couldn't adjust the aim in time. Celsius. It's about how they navigate it. It's about how they sail through. A tap. Boards now. What is the next wave of things? QCK traded. Now sticking though, already there. That's going to be the wingman putting that pressure onto a Hunter's Fury. Skipping a hop over to the top. And well, it's just been stuck in the middle of all of it. That's incredible. There's them out and away. Deal with the util and how do they deal with these players? Zekin just wants to take up the straight up fight attack. Bedding it out now. Nade, a bit short and shy off the mark there. Still damage is being done to a multitude of players. Only three left standing for Lau, but again, anyone could win it. You just have to just rely on a bit of that RNG, Zek. Tens. 
pushing with the operator. Sadak still stands. Have on it. They don't have it still. John has got to stick it now. And a tap 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 with a rifle. All praise. And there's a player disadvantage. Doubled up. Shoulder to shoulder. Round to the back. Two years showing presence. A little jiggle and offset there with a the movement. But no, because not can expect Kawazin. And he's still here. Alive and kicking. Weaving in and out. Dodging. Juking. Playing with his team. Spraying them all the way through over time. Doubled up side by side. Top rafters. Two years. Important one to win was Elsis dropping. John QT sends the nade, flying the molly. There, just can't quite land the kill. He now has Slippery. pit. He does have the pit, but does he choose to offload it? Of course he does, it's OT. And now drops it down, evacuating the one angle, but over the top of the ropes. And you got to think it, it's inevitable on top of the ropes. How is he accurate there? Running and gunning, but tens dealt with. Dropped, and a retake with the up. It's a fairy tale moment for second, it will have to be, and he doesn't expect it. The wrap there to 14 to 12. Here's the flash being sent flying, looking to not die. Sadak running and wading away backwards, running and gunning That's with the wild. frenzy. Barely missing. Flash pushing him away there. Paranoia was bad, yet still they face it with the guns. Now Sadak's all the way behind them, dizzy. Tap onto it. It's going to be alerting the attention of these Sentinels players back and around, but they have so much to deal with now. The push and the pull of these loud players, just too elite. In time. Still this waiting is bizarre. For it. it is bizarre. It's a flash. Repeat now. Out wide. What is that? Kawazin. He was leaping across. Paranoia. Tap tap from tens with the movement. Not enough bullets in the end. Still. Makes a real difference here, but Sassy does have his old back online. Picks up from Brian. Here it is, the second round of things. Thrash. Spawn. A lot to clear in this spot. And just walking right over him. QCK. There's that trade with the pop flash now. In and out and through, but still with a util in his hands. Caught lacking and slacking. Together, Nade. Oh, what's a bit of a blunder. Can't swing into that one. It was anticipated for him. Paranoia in front of it. Sadak, he had to be the playmaker there, and he was not. Drop down, now a flash of their own. Tens, repositions on top of Jenny. Vulnerable, snake bite. Goodness me. Everyone on loud saving. Yeah. They just don't even want to get back into this. Isolated. Very isolated. Smoke to play in, wants to try and get in and rule that angle over the top. Now a reflank from mid, but already it's traded equally. The, the timing actually here from John looks fairly good. Yeah, he has to potentially get a move on, but it's up to the rest of his team, I think, to dissuade and push the back. Yeah, Paranoia's there and he does catch it, QCK. Just alive, no longer. Deep cam, round the back, louder left, really scrambling, looking for options, and they've decided to take the fight! <laughs> Force him no to way! Who twins that? Get out of here! Still no tap on Twitter, pressure's mounting, That's incredibly so, game. two years facing, with all the kills, you're joking, but the time, the, the time. pressure too much. No, <laughs> what a bonkers round. Right. From Sassy, last one left. Separate individuals, maybe he could get something done. Everyone on loud is so gonna group. Mistakes. They're going to make mistakes. They don't think he's there on the angle in time. He's caught himself into the one. Or Sassy has to pull off an absolute miracle. 5 HP drop down, backing away. Now wide and sprayed them through. But in terms of anticipating four players, tens. Tens. Half cleared. Now crossfire. So the forward of neural theft. Everybody scattered to the winds. This do some economic damage. So, Utah flying forwards here. Have to push away the plan though, so still spike down and out. Oh. Hello, Juicy K. Just never know. Tap. Juicy K. Hello. It's rattling their heads now. Already two taken, stricken off the list. Thrash has to be used. He popped the ult. He popped the ult, man. <laughs> he got caught by it though. He's trying to time it. Yeah, detained up into the corner here. Potentially winnable though. Our oh, man is looking more and more likely. Finally fades away and he's back into it. But here it is. The follow up. With all the rifles on line. <laughs> he doesn't have the time. Oh my god. It's an effort. It's unbelievable how close these rounds are getting, though. A couple of beams of that one, but still not being dislodged from these positions. Tent up top. Familiar angle. Has the old now for a classic reposition. Ult into the back of the side. Could be anyone's game on a knife's edge. Every single instance, Tent sticking the plow. Well, not quite already with the ult into the back, but he has been cleaned up. Two years there. It's a 1v2. Gets sassy, doesn't give him anything. Still bides his time, waits no it time. out, and now it has been fully drawn down to the final moments. All the kills going loud's way, but not the round. Same again. None of the flashes connecting. Gives up the space, just seeking to delay as long as possible. Sentinels, though, 
Looking likely they're going to have an open site. Two years is really trying to make this feel like there's lots of players here. Nades forward, so they just spam the box in the common angles. They do deal with him, and finally the flood defense is here in time, but Cloud do anything about it. Beautiful dart. Everybody lit up here, even with the stingers. There's danger, danger in abundance, but still with the rifles. Holy! <laughs> it's tens again, man. Another score at the top here, though. It's happened. A face, that contact play style, finally punishment. Leaning this way, Celsius. Man, he is a low player, but he decides to take the fight anyway, not set up onto that angle with any form of util. Sassy now, he's in a one and done. Dart has to be broken and he's revealed his position now. This is problematic. It's all util. Util now, tens right behind them, sends out the paranoia, there is that swing, and that's a spike gonna be dropped down. Most of his team nowhere near here, Less is the last one standing. Trying to win this one while the rest of the team in silence scratches their head, wondering where it all went wrong here. Latch onto this spike and get the defusal started. Is time for the thrash? I don't even know. I mean, listen, it's going to be one second left. He wants to use it, but again, somebody needs to get onto this one. Already detained. Into the side, into the corner. Where is the time pressure? Hello! Finally, wingman down, and the rifle's there. Has to be bodyguard duty! Spraying them all down! Wingman! 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 He's been stopped in his tracks! Half tapped, sassy, no more to room, no more to work with. Going <laughs> straight up into the sky. Not where it's supposed to. Oh, rolling oh, from the Feel the presence, now they're going to be using it. Tens, TPs, and away, back to the corner actually. He's Not away. An even deeper angle, he wants to try and take the fight to them. Flash, force to set it up, that's Celsius. The dynamic duo just weaving in and out, and the flood defense this time reigns supreme. I love it. I think this map is set up so nicely for B-Flood defending. That gives you a good idea. It's going to be a re-hit. Tens takes the fight. Tens. There's a fault line follow through there. Zelsis close to the corner. He hits. Zelsis is in a committed position. Really committed. It's the first face coming through. It's just the players of the Sheriffs, and they're all going to be falling now. Fully crumbling. Less. One with a rifle. Makes a decent job. They're setting up for a pop flash play here. Yep, they can hear it. Door being broken down, they want to try and fight Tooth and Nail for control of it, the Nade down, how does second get two? Right. Does Fury add even more time pressure, Alt committed and stuck, tenses his forwards, he wins his fight, that is ridiculous. Still with a paranoia, now the showstopper, seeking to commit this one, oh, where these players might be, but the first tap at least forces out the Alt, Rocket flying, again clears the one, but on top of this corner, on top of the box, two years, has to reveal his hand, spraying it through, guarding, blocking, all the bullets, second, sticking, and he's won the round for his team. Despite the heroics of Sadak. Just let rip, Zelsis spreads it wide now. Cross onto the site, not going to be letting them use that util plant. Stuck here by Kawazin Tens onto that high ground approach. He has found value with less being removed. That's one of the star players going pound for pound, just removing this one. And a call is made to try and fight this one. Sassy taking it straight to them. Man in tow, and he just caught the backside. Clips Sadak out towards the back of the head. Flash through running gun with a Spectre. Ult denied. Two years, he's miles away. The knife gives them every single bit of information they could want. Skipping a hop, dodging round! Surely! No way! Send up to 12! Oh, oh my! Say that, they could close it out here. Easy. No one to break, no one to deal with it, but there's a flash using. Running and gunning. They could close oh, it out here. Okay, drive by, going wide. Potentially like to get away with this one, but it's going to the final round. Go down with the ship. 12 seconds, time really against them. Snake bite drop down loud. This is them with a chance to really gain some ground here. Swinging wide to punish. Kawasin, he understood it as a wing con and just decided to take the risk anyway. Two years, fake the TP back, and now they want to fight this one into the back of the site. Double face, no Utah Sentinels barreling through, finding their own timings. Gifted with it, spamming through Sadak left in a 1v2. Second, making the wraparound to A-Link. Sadak sticking this one half onto it, half onto the defuse. He's bought himself a little bit of time, a window potentially, but he just needs a kill, and he's not being given it. He's not being given it. No one will give him an easy one. And face together, it's Sentinels on 13. Almost won them the round. Last you saw Cowan Zine just barreling over the top of the mosh, trying to end it indeed. Potentially into the jaws of defeat, Zekken. He's found his slice. Sadak removed. It's a frantic play from Loud. Which direction did it go into? The one way stopping them. Ults and the util has to be used now to clear it. Back through, but the spike's been dropped down. And time against them entirely. Pop flash play. Watch for two to stand. And two potentially to fall. Two years and less together now. Tapping it out, but there is no chance. There is no hope. Sentinels inevitable. 
Sen look incredible here. Dominating on the first map and squeezing through in overtimes to take their appointment with Gen G in the upper final. Performances coming out from multiple players. Sassy's 1v3, absolutely. But the Sentinels who have earned their spot now. Second round of playoffs. Matchup against Gen G. And what an awesome one to look forward to. I think especially just a head-to-head -head that I'm instantly thinking of is 10 feet